Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a haul video for you. Um, it's more of a collective haul, stuff that I've um, either picked up or ordered over the last like month or so. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, I did change my hair, it's ombre, um, but I'm getting it done again tomorrow just to fix up my roots and um, to hopefully lighten up the blonde just a little bit more. Um, and I am in a different filming setup and I'm well aware of that. I am actually at my parents' house and this is my old bedroom and um, the reason why we're here is my parents are actually out of town. They're in Paris right now which I'm super jealous about and um, so while they're gone we're house sitting and dog sitting and I don't know if you can see, there he is, Oliver's back there. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first uh, couple items that I picked up are from, oh gosh, itch, um, are from Sephora. So I got three things. I've been using these, so they're not in the packaging or anything like that. Um, but the first thing that I got was the Bare Minerals Prime Time, and this is the oil control. Um, I don't know if it'll focus. Probably not. Um, I've actually really been liking this because my phone's blowing up. Um, I've been liking this just because it has really been helping with controlling my oil, and. Um, I haven't really been having to touch up during the day because of this, so I've been really liking this, and it's way cheaper than, like, the professionals, so I do like that. Next thing that I got was a Gimme Brow by Benefit, and I've really been liking this. I needed something for, to darken up my brows even more because the um, eyebrow pencil that I had before was more of a blondy color, and since my hair is dark on the in my roots and stuff like that I wanted to get something darker and I've been really liking that and then the last thing that I got well I got some deodorant but I'm not going to show you guys that um the last thing that I got was the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is the anti-aging one and this is a small version if you guys can tell that um just because it's way cheaper than the full size and you only need the littlest bit that this will last you for forever um, so they only had the anti-aging one, but that's okay because it's never too early to start with the anti-aging stuff. So, and I've really been liking this, and I first tried this when I got my Naked 3 palette. Um, so, I knew that I liked this, so I picked that up. And then I got this, it's the Voluminous Fiber, or False Fiber Lashes, um, I don't even remember what brand Revlon maybe. Um, and this is the waterproof version. And it was alright when I first tried it, but the brush is kind of tapered. I wasn't a huge fan of it, and I felt like it flaked on me, and it's a pain to get off. This is harder to get off than the benefits they're real, which I didn't think was possible. Um, so I'm not really a huge fan of that. Um, but I'll use it. <sighs> Phone's still going off. Next order that I placed was Makeup Geek. And I have been hurting, hurting, hearing tons of things about this brand. And I really wanted to try it. So, um, I did go ahead and order a couple eyeshadows and a couple blushes. Um, and I also ordered their Z palette. It's their to-go one. So it just looks like this, and it's just metal, but it has a huge mirror. Um, so that's going to be really good because I do tend to, during the week, do my makeup at work. So I tend to use a smaller mirror. So with this, I'll be able to put eyeshadows and blushes in it. it takes up a lot less space and have the huge mirror. So I'm excited about that, and it's um, magnetic in here. So the two blushes that I got, this color is in Honeymoon, Let's see if I can take it without dropping it and breaking it, because that would be all kinds of bad, um, but it just looks like this, it's a really shimmery like light pink color, um, I think I probably will end up using this more as like a highlighty color, or for something when I don't want a more noticeable blush color on um, and I want something that's more neutral I'll use that um, but the reviews online said that it was really good so I'm really excited to try this and then the next one that I got was in the color hinky pinky and I like the names of these blushes they're funny um, and it's just kind of like a rosy pink color but it's a matte shade 
and I do have a shade similar similar to this um, but it has shimmer in it so I'm really excited to try this one and I mean when the name is hanky pinky you kind of have to buy it right um, so I thought that this would be fun because it's good for any season really um, so I like that so I wanted to try that and then the eyeshadows that I got were I got shimmer shimmer oh come on which is just a really pretty kind of creamy color but it's super shimmery so it's really good for highlighting in the brow bone so I'm excited to try that and then I got peach smoothie and it just looks like that it's kind of like an orangey color um, but it's a matte shade so I wanted to get this for in the crease um, just because even though it is October, yes I am rocking a dark lip, it is still hot as heck outside and um, so I can still kind of get away with the more summery tones and I've been wanting this for a while so I wanted to pick that up. And then the last color that I got was um, Mango Tango. And it just looks like this. It's an orange color, but it's more of a like a burnt orange. So I thought that that'd be really pretty. And it does have a little bit of gold shimmer in it, but nothing too noticeable. Um, but I thought that this was really pretty, and it's kind of another thing that going into fall you can wear, but also in the summer. So excited to try that out because I'm a huge fan of Mac, and everyone says that these are dupes, and they just have really pretty colors. So I was really excited to try that. And then the last thing that I did was I ordered some stuff off of BH Cosmetics and surprisingly I didn't get any eyeshadows which is what I knew them for um, and what I had tried from them. So the first thing that I got was the Daisy Blush Duo and it looks like this so accidentally this is very similar to that hanky pinky color that I got from Makeup Geek. Um, but I wanted it for this color. It's more like a highlight color, um, just because I was looking for a good highlight. So, um, but I'll use both of them. And again, it's something that's small, so comp, you know, easy to take places. Next thing I got was the lip color that I have on right now. I wanted to try it because I've been wanting to do like a really deep, bold lip, but I didn't have anything like that. So, I figured I would try and you know try it out. Not sure how it looks on me, but we'll go with it. Um, and this is the Cream Luxe Lipstick and this is in the color Moody Merlot. It just looks like that. Obviously you guys can see what it looks like on. Um, I didn't do that great of a job with applying it so it'll take some getting used to and playing with but I actually think it's really pretty. So we shall see. And then I got this um, it's the BH Party Girl After Hours Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. That is a mouthful. Um, I have a really hard time with eyeliners, and I've tried a lot of different waterproof versions that still just smudge, and I figured BH Cosmetics is a pretty inexpensive brand that I would try some out while um, I was placing an order. Um, so we'll see, and this is just in the color black. I guess it's After Hours. Um, so we shall see, I'll do like maybe a little mini review or something like that once I've used it. And then I also got this, um, waterproof eye crayon in Sapphire, and I wanted to get this to do my, line my lower lash line and do like a pretty deep navy blue. Um, so that's why I got this. It says it's waterproof, we'll see, um, but it's in the color Sapphire, so it's just a really pretty blue color. And then the whole reason why I placed an order was to get a couple of these. And this is the, um, just like a really fluffy brand, brand, blending brush. Um, so I got two of those just because I didn't really have any good blending brushes. And they're nice and big and fluffy and um, super soft. So I am excited to try those out with, you know, doing different looks because lately I've just been doing one eyeshadow on the lid and calling it a day because I'm lazy, um, but we'll have those days, right? So that is everything that I got makeup-wise. Um, I'm going to be doing another haul um, 
in probably a couple of weeks with some clothing items that I picked up over the last couple of months just because I've been needing to get some new clothes. A lot of the stuff that I have is very summery and um, I feel like my style is kind of changing so I wanted to pick up some things so I'll be filming another video um, with clothing stuff so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching and I know that it's been a long time since I uploaded a video and I do apologize. Um, I'll be explaining everything in a video video um, shortly. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.